What up guys, this is Moto Striker Unit, and today I'm going to show you how to do uh, a quite easy mod to your bike that improves your throttle response, and I think it minimally improves your, um, your power of your bike if you're still running stock exhaust, but it's called the Airbox Flapper Mod. And I read a bunch of trends of other people doing it but I'm gonna do it the most minimal way possible and the easiest way possible. So let's get started. First, you'll need a 5 16 and of course you need an extender fork because you have to take off the seat and then you'll need a basically flathead screwdriver and duct tape or some other type of very adhesive tape. I already have done it, as you can see the um, one piece that you have to take off is right there. I've did it before doing this video because I wanted to make sure that I did it right and that it wasn't anything negative happening to the bike after doing this and so far it's very very good I wish I'd done it sooner it, at low rpms if you uh, have this bike it starts to choke up and like chug like as if it's about to stall it doesn't do that anymore I could cruise around at like five or four miles an hour and it doesn't chug the throttle response is a lot more um, accurate when you put it on that throttle it doesn't start to go boom 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 it stays on but first to do this you have to take off the seat hopefully you can see this there's gonna be two bolts running underneath the tail and right next to the exhaust pipe and basically you just have to take You have to take these off. And there's there's two of them, so. There's no washer on them, so it looks like there's a washer, but it's really not. It's all one piece. Just make sure you catch it so you don't get dirt or shit on it. Actually, it is a washer. It's just really tight. <laughs> Never mind. All right, and then there's another one. Now, basically what you do is you push down on the front and you slide it um, back, I believe. Or you slide it up <laughs> or back, like that, yeah. You push down and you slide and you lift up because that little nub's on there, so you just go like that. You make sure you push down, make sure you push down, lift up and slide back. That's pretty much it, that's the seat off. And then, this little sucker is going to be right here, and it's going to be inside there. See how that little piece? There's like a little, uh, there's a little connecting thing. So there's like a circle, a plastic circle, and another plastic circle, and it slides through. And this is attached to this line. So basically, what I did is you first disconnect this line. That's why you need this. You have to. Um, it's on there pretty tight. So what I did is I slowly tug that while prying it off, while like pushing it off, generally around. Hopefully you guys see this. It's like one like that, and I push it off and tug the line out, and pretty much you end up like with this. So this is still in there, and this is here. This is where the duct tape comes in handy. I just took two pieces, I wrapped it around, and then closed it, and I put another piece on top and closed it because you don't want anything getting sucked in or anything into that line. And then basically what you do with this is you push down and twist to the left. Yeah, to the left. <laughs> to the left. You twist to the left and you feel it. You like push down, twist to the left, and you'll feel it unconnect. But this is the hard part. You have to go underneath with the screwdriver again. And that part, you'll see it underneath in the thing. And basically what you do is you push on it like that, that way, and you lift up at the same time. And it basically just slides it out of the hole. And then the little flapper right here 
you'll notice it's gonna you can move it up and down it's got like a uh, foam around it and then you basically just push that down and you basically put duct tape over that and pretty much you're done and you just tuck that there you just could throw this away or do whatever you want I'm just gonna keep all the parts but that's pretty much it once again I'm doing it the most minimum way possible I don't really want to start taking anything else out right now since I'm still running stock exhaust and everything else like that I just wanted to make sure that was done and just doing that makes the bike run a whole lot like at least it's I say it's like double double um, what I would give it for power rating it feels like a completely completely different bike once you do that mod to it so take off seat there's two bolts on the thing 5 16 you push down lift up slide back take the seat off come in here you'll see that little silver cylinder there you slide the nozzle off use a screwdriver to push it off if it's hard to pull it, you don't want to pull it off you just want to push it off tape that up push down twist to the left and then take your screwdriver push the little L L uh, metal thing metal pin out towards that direction and lift up it'll pop out take the flapper push it down and tape that down and you're done then all you have to do is just basically put the seat back on do whatever you want with that and that's pretty much it um thanks for watching uh, I may make more videos like this whenever I do other things and taking stuff off and putting things on. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions of how to do this or you're confused, just drop me a comment below. Like, subscribe, subscribe for more. Uh, and thanks. Peace out.